The Yankees are interested in who? Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you love the Yankees, but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if I'm kept up to date with the latest in anything the Yankees do, whether that's a signing, the trades, of course, trade deadline, June 30th. We're doing a lot of live streaming on here. We're live streaming tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So please be there or be square. Listen, here is the latest trade news for the New York Yankees. Now, there were a couple of trades within the division. Let's firstly talk about the Tampa Bay trade. Tampa Bay traded Randy Rosarania to the Seattle Mariners for their 12th ranked prospect and their 22nd ranked prospect. This would be the equivalent of the Yankees trading away Kyle Carr and Yorbeat Bebas for a Rosarania or a player like Randy. Listen, Randy... He doesn't fit what the Yankees need. The Yankees need a, an infielder or two. So maybe a package similar to what the Mariners traded away for Rosarina. Maybe you could kind of trade away a similar package, if you're the Yankees, for an infielder. I think it makes a lot of sense. Maybe for Renhifo or for Chisholm. If it makes sense, do it. it uh, obviously, it depends on what the opposing team needs. But at Rosarini, I was kind of shocked that Seattle didn't really trade all that much. The prospects are pretty good, but they're on, on the 2080 scale, they're both rated overall 45. So the, the prospects are pretty good, but not like off the charts good. So I was kind of shocked about that. But anyway, because Randy, his last 22 games, hitting 288, five home runs, 10 RBI with a 932 OPS. Now the Yankees are also interested in Jonathan India. India this season hitting 271, eight home runs, 40 RBI with a 789 OPS, has a 120 OPS plus. Over his last 20 games, he has three home runs hitting 270 with an 850 OPS. Now, it depends what the Reds want. If the Reds would want Bebas, right? Bebas, who was having a pretty solid year down there in AAA over his last stretch of games, I believe, what, he's three for 27 or something ridiculous. But with Bebas, if it took Bebas and maybe Clayton Beater or Will Warren, I think that could get India. Now, I, I, I would do that, firstly. Secondly, Will Warren, yes, he struggled this season, but he last night, he pitched seven innings. And this season, in 95 and two-thirds innings pitched, has 115 strikeouts. I think Will Warren and Bebas could get a deal done for India. It's just, hey... Would the Reds want that, n number one? And number two, uh, are the Reds even selling? We'll see. It should not take you areas to get India, though. That's just my opinion. India is a free agent after the 2026 season. The Yankees are also interested <laughs> in freaking Jamison Tyone. Now, Tyone this season, he's been good. 7-5 and five with a 2.96 ERA and 17 starts this season. He doesn't have that swing and miss type stuff. And his velocity has gone down, but he only has two more years left on his contract. And if the Yankees go out and get Tyone, they, they obviously have to improve that infield defense too. You can't just go and get Tyone and not improve that infield defense because, you know, he induces a lot of contact. He's not, he's not a strikeout pitcher. I believe in, in like a, over 100 innings pitch, he has like 85 strikeouts. So he's not a strikeout pitcher. Tyone, though, having experience here in New York, his last season with the Yankees, he had like a 3-9 ERA. This season with the Chicago Cubs, he's been pitching really well, has two more years on his contract, and it depends what pitching, the price for pitching is a freaking premium, right? It's a lot. So it depends what the Chicago Cubs want for Tyone. If it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, and if you could somehow get Chicago to pay some of Tyone's contract, then maybe you do it. Maybe you think about it. But... I'm not against Tyone. I'm not. The, the Red Sox were also in on him. The Astros and the Dodgers. But the Red Sox also just acquired James Paxton, former Yankee from the Dodgers. And Paxton this season had like a 4-4 ERA. So he's not doing all that great. But the Red Sox did just reacquire him, actually, from the Dodgers. The Yankees are also interested. Now, this is the freaking mind-blowing one. The Yankees are also interested in freaking Rich Hill. Rich Hill last pitch for the Yankees and. 2014, 10 years ago. He's pitched for Boston a few times since. He's pitched for the Pittsburgh Pirates, for the Metropolitans. 
Rich Hill last season spent some of his year with the Pirates and some with the San Diego Padres. He had an 8-2-3 ERA with the Padres. Overall, though, he had a 5 for one ERA. Rich Hill is 44 years old. There's also a little update on Garrett Crochet. If the Yankees want Crochet, most likely they're going to have to give him a contract extension. That's the news. The Orioles also traded away Austin Hayes to the Phillies for reliever Sir Anthony Dominguez and Christian Pache. Now, with all of that being said, does Rich Hill fit? I wouldn't get him. I just don't see a reason to. If, if, if Cody Petit, if he could be on the way back soon, I believe he's starting to throw now. Clark Schmidt, same thing. I just don't waste your time with Rich Hill. Hilly boy, retire. Do what you got to do. You're 44. Just relax, bro. Become a pitching coach or something. But as far as Jamison Tyone, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not against it. It's just it would definitely depend on what the Cubs want. He has two more years left, $17 million per year. If the Cubs want a hefty package, then do you know what? You're going to have to pay for most of his contract, or at least like 30%, 40% of it. That's just my opinion. I'm not sure if they would even do that. The Astros, as I said, the Red Sox and the Dodgers are all in on Tyone. 296 ERA, though, that sounds pretty friggin' good. Jonathan India, though. Jonathan India, sign me up for that. And if you could somehow pull a similar deal off to the Randy Rosarina deal, uh, do it. Sign me up every day, twice on friggin' Sunday. I want India pinstripes. If it won't cost you areas, which it may not, go out, trade for him. Do it. If it's going to cost you a B-Boss and a Will Warren, do it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. Now, there are, are other teams in on Jonathan India, but if the Yankees, they could go out and offer the, the Reds what they want. And listen, the Reds may not even be selling right now, but India would definitely fit this lineup and would definitely fit a need in this lineup. I know Brandon Lowe's name has been thrown around too, being that Tampa Bay now is basically on a fire sale, right? Trading Randy away. You're kind of like, ah, uh, the season's pretty much done. He's your hottest hitter. But Brandon Lowe this season, injuries have been a pain in the butt for him, but this season hitting 251, 12 home runs, an 860 OPS, a 144 OPS plus. He's a good player, somebody that I would like on the Yankees, but he gets hurt a lot. So if you want that, God bless you, but he does get hurt a lot. So if you know that while when acquiring him, okay, he's a free agent at the end of this year. If you trade a prospect or two for him and he gets hurt, that's on you. You knew that he was injury prone. So he's a guy that Yes, his numbers are good, but I may stay away from him just because of, hey, we need healthy players on this team. We're sick of guys going down and getting hurt. We need healthy guys. So listen, you let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're live streaming tonight, so be there or be square. I'll keep you guys updated, though. If, if, if the Yankees make any kind of trades, you'll know here first. So listen. Thank you guys so much. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out.